What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I just want to share my journey, my story of coming off birth control, why I did it, what happened when I did it, and like my journey of getting my period back after not having it for almost a year. Um, it's now been a year since I got my period back. I read it in my journal and I shared on Instagram and I did share my journey of trying to get it back through Instagram. I do have an IG highlight. You can look at my Instagram here at Tatiana underscore Koto. Um, but I got a, little, a lot of good feedback and I just want to share my story, my journey to do, to just spread awareness, maybe open your eyes a little bit. Um, I'm not saying that birth control is bad. Um, this is my story, my opinion, but after coming off of it and after doing my own research, I just don't think our society is necessarily using it for the right reasons. Meaning, I totally understand if you're using it for protection, but if you're on it because of symptoms like headaches, migraines, cramps, there's other things you can do than using a pill, a natural way to get in tune with your body to fix those issues. Um, or if you just don't want a period, I'm sorry, honey, but I don't agree with that. I think our bodies need to have a period once a month and I think by stopping our periods all completely or only having it three to four times a month like certain other measures I don't think that's safe I don't think that's natural our bodies are meant to have periods once a month it's like let that blood and egg go sorry if that's TMI but it is what it is um so I just want to share my story my opinion to maybe spread some awareness and open your eyes and I'm just speaking on this because I've spoken to so many women who have come off the IUDs the pill, the implant, the shot, which don't even get me started on those. I don't even know how that's like healthy, but, um, and how amazing, like these women have their sex drives back, their appetites back, their depression is gone, gone. After like going through like therapy and antidepressants, like they come off their birth control and it's gone. So all forms of birth control. So I'm just speaking truth. I'm speaking about my personal journey, my story, other stories that I have heard with family and friends um, just to spread awareness that if you're experiencing these symptoms emotionally hormonally maybe look into coming off birth control especially if you're on it because of symptoms related not just protection and you know what there's other ways of protection um, be smart but I'm not gonna like tell you what to do I'm just sharing my story my opinion so I started birth control when I was about 14 15 because I was having cramps and the flow and honestly I was probably just being a bratty teenager and just didn't want to deal with a period. Um, and I now know that those are not good reasons to go on the pill. Um, so I went on it, of course the doctors were fine with it and I wasn't really getting many periods. I started with the Nuva Ring and then I stayed on birth control pills and that's kind of my birth control story, but, or method. Um, and so I'd been on it for a while, I didn't really get many periods like if I did they last a few days was very very light minimal symptoms great um, and I noticed that when I, I was under stress especially during college time like the way my body reacted I just wouldn't get a period and so I've had a lot of stressful times in college so I just wasn't getting a lot of my period don't think that's normal or safe um, and when I was in college about my sophomore or junior year I brought up my concerns to my doctor just being on pills I just I don't I just didn't want to be on the birth control pill anymore um, I had read and heard a lot of scary stories about infertility issues, linkages to cancer. I don't really know. I just got scared um, because I'd been on it for so long. And of course, the doctors were like, nope, you should stay on it. It's totally healthy. Um, I believe them. I'm not saying they're wrong, but I stayed on it. And then when I graduated college in about 2016, I kept reading things from other women and their experiences with birth control, especially the infertility and ha having issues getting their period once they got back, once they were married and trying to have a baby, and like that was like my fear. I didn't want my body to have any issues whenever that time came. Um, again, the doctors advised me not to do it, and I wasn't gonna listen. But at this point in the beginning, it was now the beginning of 2017, I was doing a bikini bodybuilding show, and so I decided not to put my body through any more stress than it needed to be. Um, so I stayed on it, and about a month or two before my show, I started like losing my period, it was very light which is technically not normal, but I was very low body fat. My body was under a lot of stress due to prep, but also because I was moving within a five to six week time period from Boston to Florida, so my body was under a lot of stress. And I knew previously when my body is under stress, I don't get my period. So I stayed on birth control, and then about June 2017, I just cut it cold turkey when I moved to Florida, 
and I knew like it may have taken like a month or two to get my period back, but it was getting bad and I didn't get it back until the end of February, beginning of March 2018. Like that's a long time, almost a year that I had fully had a normal period. Um, so the first month or two I was like, okay, but then I went to the doctors because I was concerned. I was dealing with a lot of hormone issues, my mood swings, I was depressed, then I was happy, I was crying, then I was laughing, like I just felt really uncomfortable with my emotions. Um, I personally did like experience a weight gain, but hold on, hold on, I did go through a bikini bodybuilding prep, so I was already extremely lean, so I knew I was already going to be gaining weight, like that was normal, but between November, December to like February when I was dealing with the most hormonal issues um, That's when I experienced like a fluff and some weight gain and you could see it in little pictures And I was like, okay, but you know what? I was just pushing through because I just wanted to be off the pill and be natural as much as I could so Now that I was off birth control I was just really trying to get in tune with my body and what felt right and figuring out natural ways to get my period back and dealing with these hormones the hormone issues was the worst part especially like with your moods um appetite and all that stuff so during my trying to get my period back journey i started doing a lot of research i started reading this book it's called women woman code um alisa vd i highly highly recommend even if like you're not struggling with your period it's great to amplify your fertility supercharge your sex drive and just become a power source and become in tune with your body so the number one thing i learned with my research and reading is that the num the best thing we can do for ourselves is to get in tune with where we're at and like the beginning of this book it says we go on the birth control pill many of us for sy period symptoms and the pill is literally putting like a band-aid over a car engine that's not working properly so we're pretty much masking the issue instead of digging deep figuring out the root cause that can fix those symptoms naturally. So meaning, we our bodies are so sensitive to the foods we're eating, the products we're using and putting on our product, on our bodies, and that can affect our hormones and our internal health and our periods. And I just was like so amazed by it. I was like, wow, I went on the birth control pill for these symptoms that I really should have just taken the time to learn. I was at a young age, but like my body and like how it works. So I highly recommend this book. There's a lot of great books, a lot of great research out there, but it really just opened my eyes and it helped me get into my body. So within those months, I just started focusing on the foods I was eating, the quality of the foods I was eating, products that I was putting on my body, in my body. And I wasn't going crazy. I know this sounds a little crazy, but I was just being observant and getting in tune with my body and what felt right, noting down like PMSing and hormones and all of those levels. Um, and then my friend recommended, this is brand like Vitex Fruit, it's pretty much just extracted chaster berry. It's natural, it's just from a flower, like a plant. Um, and it has a good reputation on kind of balancing hormone hor hormone balance. Um, it can help with fertility with women. I read a lot of good reviews, like treats menopause, breast cancer, pretty much balance health. I mean, hormone health. Um, so I started taking that and then two months later, I did get my period back. So. I'm not saying it was the chaster berry, but it probably helped a little as well as the foods I was eating and just getting into in my body. Um, so what is that like? Eight months, nine months later, I finally got, oh, so let me mention, I got blood work done and the doctors just told me to keep going on birth control and I was like, no, I wanna do this naturally. And that's one thing that really upsets me. Like the doctors and the pharmaceutical industry just love to push pills down our throats like whatever it may be and like i'm not i'm talking from experience i'm not talking about just birth control i'm talking about i've been on adderall i've been on antidepressants i've been on anxiety medicines and birth control all at the same time and my poor body internally i just kept giving it pills to fix problems taking anxiety medicine to fix the anxiety that was being caused by my adderall and like my birth control my hormones like my body was out of whack and so like Oh my god, that, this is, that was another big reason why I wanted to get off birth control because I just wanted to be off pills overall. I wanted to just work on my internal and mental health and feel my body properly to have it be in its natural state because I believe like that's how my body just wanted to be. Um, so that's a whole other story. It's a pharmaceutical company. But yeah, I didn't listen to the doctors to get back on it. I chose to do my own research, go natural ways to figure out my period. And it was the best decision I have made in my life. I feel 
so amazing. My hormones are regulated. Now my period is regulated. The first few months after when I first got my period, obviously they weren't normal. I probably missed the next month after that. And after that, it was coming like every like six weeks, um, five weeks. And now it's kind of in the four week range. Um, I did experience some heavy cramps the first beginning month, but like I hadn't had my period in like a very long time. So like I just, you know, I sucked it up and I pushed through it. Like this is what I wanted. I wanted to not be on pills and I wasn't going to just get back on it just because I was having really bad cramps or there, there's so many different remedies like bananas help with cramps. Um, I'm just rambling right now, but I just want to share that like, <sighs> If you don't like having a period or you don't like your symptoms, you don't need to be on birth control and just be cautious about that and think about like the precautions it can be. Cause like, yeah, it is pretty much healthy what doctors say, but um, I don't know, not everybody reacts differently. So just get in tune with your body. And I know when I shared this on Instagram, I got a lot of feedback that you were like, a lot of girls were wanting to get off it, learn more. And so I just want to share my journey and my story, but coming off birth control, I've been so happy. Uh, my hormone health is hap like amazing. I just feel so good in my skin now and I'm completely off pills, like completely fully off pills. And it's just such a good feeling. So I just wanted to share that. Um, I'm not bashing on doctors, I'm not bashing on birth control, but I'm just saying like, do your own research. Don't just listen to what the media says or what one doctor says. And if you are interested in coming off birth control, of course, advise your doctor. They're gonna know best but do your own research. And I'm just speaking on this because I've spoken to so many women who have come off the IEDs, the pill, the implant, the shot, which don't even get me started on those. I don't even know how that's like healthy, but, um, and how amazing, like these women have their sex drives back, their appetites back, their depression is gone, gone. After like going through like therapy and antidepressants, like they come off their birth control and it's gone. So all forms of birth control. So I'm just speaking truth. I'm speaking about my personal journey, my story, other stories that I have heard with family and friends, um, just to spread awareness that if you're experiencing these symptoms, emotionally, hormonally, maybe look into coming off birth control, especially if you're on it because of symptoms related, not just protection. And you know what? There's other ways of protection. Um, be smart, but I'm not gonna like tell you what to do. I'm just sharing my story, my opinion, um, just to spread. Camera overheated, sorry, but I'm just sharing my journey, my story. Maybe open up your eyes a little bit um, to do your own research, to maybe inspire you to get in tune with your body. I think that's the best thing you can do is truly to get in tune with your body. Um, yeah, I'm not a doctor, I'm not bashing on anything. I'm just sharing my experience with my doctors what they told me compared to the research I've done and the books I've read. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Send me a message, comment below if you have any questions. Um, please no hate because this is just my story, my opinion. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope it maybe like brought some thoughts to your head. Um, and until the next one, bye.